Assalamualaikum. My name is Aisha Nabila and I will present the weathering of rocks, hydration and reduction. So, chemical weathering processes. Flowing processes are involved in chemical weathering, which is hydration, hydrolysis, carbonation, oxidation and reduction. As you can see, many things can be weathered. Oxidation is another kind of chemical weathering that occurs when oxygen combines with another substance and creates compounds called oxides. For example, rust is iron oxide. This is an example for the rusting processes. Hydration. Hydration is one of the most common processes in nature and works with secondary minerals such as aluminum oxide and iron oxide minerals and gypsum. Soil forming minerals in rocks do not contain any water and they undergo hydration when exposed to humid conditions. Reduction is the process of removal of oxygen and is the reverse of oxidation and is truly important in changing soil color to gray, blue, or green as ferric iron is converted to ferrous iron compounds. Under the conditions of excess water or waterlogged condition, there is less or no oxygen, reduction takes place. For example, the Vinipuka Rainbow Mountain in Peru. This mountain to be happened its most famous features was uh, for centuries under thick layers of Andean snow and ice, but not until 2015. Due to climate change, the thick layers of Andean snow and ice melted away. The famous striped colors have been occurred largely due to weathering and mineral deposits. The second example is the Rainbow Mountain of China. This mountain within the Zangye Dangxia Land from Geological Park Gansu Province. The late horizontal and flat stratigraphy was disrupted by the Indian plate colliding into the Eurasian plate approximately 55 million years ago. Weathering mixed with water and oxygen oxidizes elemental iron into iron oxide, which is notable for its dark red colouring. The rainbow mountains are largely characterized by this iron oxide staining of its sandstone densia formation. Most of the time, iron oxides impart a dark red pigment. However, there are instances where oxides form different colors. For example, oxidized limonite or graphite will produce brown or yellow staining of sandstones. Magnetite can form black staining of sandstones. If there is iron sulfide present, we will get metallic yellow color imparted by the sulfur. Meanwhile, Green colouring is often due to chloride or iron silicate clays. These are just some examples of how sandstone can be altered in colouring during their genesis. So that's all for me. My group member is Muhammad Dun Adli, Muhammad Irfan, Nero Zahira and Ashley Bilal Ismail. Thank you.